Welcome to the circuit, uh, Catalonia Barcelona, and we have a fantastic two horse race ahead of us in the Formula Renault Euro Cup. Round after round, two drivers are dominating the series Victor Martin from France and Caio Colette from Brazil. They're almost inseparable, and this is their next opportunity to try and lay something down. But it's a cool morning 18 degrees air temperature. Track, track temperature not yet 20 degrees so getting some heat in the tires is going to be quite critical in this qualifying session 20 minutes to go out and lay down a time for the first of two races here in spain one today and one tomorrow so all the young guns lined up in the pits waiting to go waiting for those final instructions and then of course for the lights to go green at pit exit but uh, it really is a game of nip and tuck between Martin and Colette this year with David Vidal is the Spanish racer third in the championship hoping to go really really well at home he's finding his form he's picking up the pace but those wins do tend to be shared between Victor Martin and Caio Colette it really really is a dogfight car number 38 down there David Vidal is really looking for a good one on home ground in Spain and we have a field of around 20 cars coming out to play just waiting for the clock to tick around to the top of the hour in fact we're going out at 8 45 so in fact uh in fact the session has begin begun we're already just looking at the clock two minutes into this session so let's get out there and play first couple of cars on the track both uh, the bitec cars laszlo top from hungary and nicola marinangeli italian racer out on the circuit there's marinangeli young driver picking his way forward in the sport 17 years old Spent the winter actually competing in the United Arab Emirates in the Formula 4 Championship over there to get track experience. In fact, I saw him racing in the Dubai circuit back in January. He's got this circuit to play with almost exclusively. Comes around the final corner onto the start-finish straight. Again, clearly not attacking yet, but uh, now good to see still quite a lot of cars in the pit lane. Gradually a few more coming out to play. Drivers, of course, were doing testing yesterday, so they don't need to explore the track too much. And conditions, though, at this point of the day, are cool. So they're just waiting a little bit, waiting their time to go out onto the circuit. First flying lap, not effectively completed until Nicola Marinangli or probably Lazo Toff, his teammate, uh, come round. And at the moment, it looks though like Marinangli's got a little more pace in him. But the fact he's still weaving around suggests that uh, not yet a serious attack. The other driver who's come out is in the red and white livery of Arden. They've been running that livery for a very long time and it's Richard de Gerous, French racer. He's in car number 21. Just been passed by Nicola Marinangeli as he starts to pick up the pace a bit. Sixteen turns around the circuit to Catalonia Barcelona. Pretty much unchanged since it uh, hit Formula 1 the, the, way, way back, but the, the main change really has simply been the insertion of the chicane as the penultimate corner on, on the drop down from what's now called Europe car. We list as turn 13. That was one fabulous swoop down into that final corner of the start finish straight. But it's been a long time since the chicane has been added. Those adding therefore turns 14 and 15. In qualifying, it's a fiddle in a race. It can be quite tricky indeed trying to feed all the feed field down through there. So it really is a case of the teams playing it very, very cool indeed, leaving bulk of the drivers in the pit lane, just three drivers out there. So for Nicola Marinangeli, working his way towards the end of the lap, he should be able to sweep, here we are, round the final corner, but he's still not really going for an attacking run at all. Maybe they know something about the temperature is going to have a sudden spike or whatever, but he's got the track to play with. So the first flying lap, just remember this, one minute, 53.4 seconds. Oh, we have a force runner out onto the circuit as uh, William Alatalo, finish racer, comes out for JD Motorsport. So we've got uh, four drivers playing and the vast majority still sitting in the pit lane. Just to stress, this is the qualifying session for race number one. The race is this afternoon, so you need to get out there and put in some times. Nicola Marinangeli for Bitec and his teammate Laszlo Toth for Bitec. First and second, only two drivers to set a flying lap so far. 0.2 of a second between them. Third of the Bitec runners, Lorenzo Colombo, being given his marching orders. In fact, now everyone is pouring out of the pit lane. Suddenly the timing screen is becoming 
populated. So the two times, 1 minute 53.4 for Nikola Marinangeli and Laszlo Toff, his teammate, 1 minute 53.6 seconds. Kai Collette, second in the championship for race GP. Just, he's got uh, just two points fewer than Victor Martins. Martin yet out onto the circuit. No, playing it cool, but they are just emptying the pit lane at the moment. Suddenly it's going to get busy. And I'm sure those times at the top will be toppled fairly soon. Plenty of space to play for all the drivers at the moment. Down to the chicane. Left and right and then sweeping through the final corner. Let's see, is this going to be an improvement for Nicola Marinangeli? Most certainly it is. He sets an improved first sector, an improved second sector. It was tidy through the chicane. Oh, we've taken four seconds off it, so it shows that the weaving uh, was just a, a little bit of a ploy. One minute, 49.2 seconds, and expect uh, Laszlo Toth to improve as well when he comes through in a few minutes' time. But suddenly, they're going to have to make space on the circuit. Suddenly, it's becoming a little bit busy. Interesting tax. I can't understand why they've all waited so long to come in this session. 20 minutes is plenty of time to go out and set a lap, particularly if you've um, had some good times in testing yesterday. Track conditions were good. David Vidal is really looking to shine at home. Third in the championship for JD Motorsport. Out on his home circuit. David, car number 32, just in the background of the shot. And there's William Alatado, car number 38. JD Motorsport. He's teammate to the one Spanish driver in this field. Uh, for William, William Alatado, 18 years old. Gosh, he's quite old by uh, Formula Renault standards. Raced in Italian Formula 4 before, but uh, yeah, he's picked up some fairly good results through the course this season so far. He's had a, a pole position and a second place, so... Uh, but that has been his regular finishing position. And Alatello moves into second place, but he's two seconds down on that uh, far better second fly lap for Nicola Marinangeli. The target, 1 minute 49.2 seconds at the moment. Still waiting for the big guns to start uh, dropping in some quicker times. Car number one, Kai Collette, he is the championship challenger. Two points down on the points leader, Victor Martin. Cutting down, turning right at turn 13, down the slope to there, turn 14, and immediately into turn 15. Staying off the curves, nice and neat and tidy. Didn't look like a, a full flying lap there from Kai Collette, but uh, let's have a look. Comes around the final corner. Well, he's put his banker lap in. He's still five seconds off the pace. Just to point out that uh, the track conditions are still quite uh, cool and tricky. Air temperature listed as 18 degrees. It looks cooler because it's a grey day, but uh, track temperature is not yet 20 degrees. So they will be climbing, but for the moment, the drivers are really working hard to get heat into their rubber. Of course, when you designate the, the rubber for a championship, you sort of expect the season to be over by now. Pretty much it's made for a European spring through to early autumn. But now we're working our way through autumn and uh, having to work in a different window to normal. Car 21, Richard de Garus, he was third fastest, he's fourth fastest, stringing together a lap now. Basso Toth has also gone down beneath, 1 minute 50. And William Alatalo goes up into second place, so it's uh, Nicola Marinangeli, William Alatalo, and now Alaslo Toth. Just waiting to see what the really quick drivers are likely to be doing. Expect the next lap from Kai Collette, car number one, to be an improvement. He is in fact, he just slides down to sick, but a lot of these drivers are yet to really bang in a quick time. And suddenly we've got Alan Tallo into second place. Richard de Giroux, sure to find an improvement. He goes up to fourth place, but these were the early runners, which was Marin Angeli, Alan Tallo, Tot, and de Giroux. But the next grouping, 
are starting to pick up their pace. Car number 21, that is Reshad de Garuth, fourth fastest. Kai Collette still not to put a really quick lap in. He's down in the championships. Victor Martin, who's the championship leader, only one flying lap and not a really clever one as yet. He's down in 11th. It does seem a slow burner this morning. David Vidal is looking to shine at home, but he's not yet in the top 10, not yet put in a sensible flying lap, still weaving around, trying to get heat into his tyres. Down in 13th position at the moment for JD Motorsport. He's got space to play, but for Vidal, is at the moment, he's improving on his previous lap, but he really needs to because those it's 10 seconds, only 10 seconds down on the provisional pole time for Nicola Marin Angelo. Don't forget Marin Angelo and his bout very early in the session. They've got down into 1 minute 45, 1 minute 46 is. Still waiting for some quicker times from the two championship challengers at the moment. Caio Collette's in eighth. And championship leader Victor Martin down in 14th place. Car number one is Caio Collette. He's picking up the pace around this lap. What can the Brazilian do? His first sector time is an improvement. His second sector of the three sectors, that's also an improvement. Down the slopes, the chicane he comes. That's two, through turn 13, down to 14, into 15. Neat, tidy. Target time, 1 minute 44.6. Well, he's bound to improve this lap. He's ninth. And he stays in ninth position. He did improve his lap time, but not enough. You still don't feel that car's on, on the rails yet. William Alatado, well, one purple sector followed by another. So he should be going top at the moment. He's down in seventh place. He's... Um, one and a half seconds down on Richard de Garus, who is, has been top of the charts for a, a very short while for Arden. One of the earlier cars out of the pits, so was William Alitalo. So it does seem it takes quite a while to get heat into the rubber, but looking at his uh, split times, super, super strong. One minute 44.6, best time so far. I think we're going to have a new name at the top of the charts. And William Alitano goes top by nearly 3.7. Now we're starting to play. Name right at the bottom of your screens, Victor Martin. He's the championship leader. Slowest of all, but he just got fastest in that first sector, fastest in the second sector. And what can the Frenchman do? Oh, yes, he's very, very committed here, right towards the outside of the circuit at the top of the hill through turn... 12, turn 13, now known as Europe car, through 14 and 15, tidy on the chicane, just out over the curbs, riding those very nicely indeed, so should be going to the top of the charts. Gregoire Saucy has just moved ahead of William Alotalo to the top of the charts, not going to stay there long because the championship leader goes clear by 0.373 of a second. So it really shows these laps we had drivers doing out laps and their first flying laps in 1 minute 52, that's 10 seconds off the pace what uh, Victor Martel, it really must be a struggle to get the heat down into the rubber. Franco Colapinto, MP Motorsport, won the opening round of the championship, opening race of the opening round, hasn't won since. And he's running uh, fourth in championship points, so such high hopes for the Argentinian for MP Motorsport, but uh, now going to be qualified. Oh, my tail really trying to come around on him in the chicane there, turned very sharply into the left-hand part of it the slide is improving but needs to he's not in the mix at the moment it's Victor Martin from Gregor Saucy and Hugo de Wilder and now Franco Colapinto good enough might be slightly cursing getting the tail a bit loose in the chicane so where's Caio Collette here's Caio Collette car number one fifth on speed at the moment but he's got to find half a second to get into the mix very very close actually between Saucy Colapinto de Wilder and Colette and indeed, William Alitalo could cover them with a blanket, but unfortunately for them, they're all a third of a second and more down on Victor Martin, who's at the top of the timesheets. Kai right, Collette, neat and tidy. French Formula 4 champion last year. No, 2018. 
and he was 16 years old, so he's really come over to Europe and made quite an impact. But second in the championship at the moment, really, really pushing for race GP. Again, sweeping wide onto the start finish straight. In fact, Victor Martin has just improved the target, lowered it to 1 minute 42.5. Kyle Connect goes into third place. So the, the second really quick flying lap from Victor Martin has stretched his advantage to just under half a second over Grégoire Saucy. Kyle Collette is just 23 thousandths down in third place. See, so just getting two tenths of a second up on Paul Aron. So ART Grand Prix have got uh, Victor Martin first, Grégoire Saucy second, and Paul Aron fourth. So they've really clearly got a very, very good setup for their cars. So these cool temperatures here in Barcelona on this October morning. William Alatalo was one of the early pace setters. He's fallen down to 10th place. He's improving around this lap. Should gain a few places. Five places gained, up to fifth for JD Motorsports. So, still a bit of a kicker for them. For David Vidal is his teammate, though. Down in 17th of the runners. That is not good home race. Not what he was looking for. And in fact, as I say that, he just managed to move the charts. David Villalice goes ninth. He moves so far from 17th to ninth, it took a moment to find him on the screen. So, yes, finding a little more to be proud of at home. The lap's going to improve all the way to the end. And you know what? The driver who's making the greatest improvement is the driver who's top of the charts, unfortunately, for his rivals. Victor Martin, faster than anybody else in the second sector. He's already 0.453 of a second clear of Grégoire Saucy. Second in the championship last year, looking to nail it this year, Victor Martin. JD Motorsport, Franco Colapinto still pressing on. Drivers moving up and down the charts. Oh, in fact, uh, Victor Martin backed out of that lap. Fastest in the first and second sector, backed out in the third. Still got time for one flying, one further flying lap, two more flying laps, this one and the next. What can Franco Colapinto do? He's looking to improve this lap, will improve this lap, goes from eight up to six. So the times keep on moving around, but it's still Victor Martin clear by just under half a second from Gregoire Saucy. Championship rival Caio Cadet picking up the pace this time around. He needs to find only a few thousands to get up alongside Martin, his championship rival on the front row. Here comes the Brazilian. Nice, tidy flow at the top of the hill. That's a Campsa, wonderful. Turn nine, you arrive at the brow, can't really see into the corner until you're in the corner. You've got to commit, keep a lovely, clear parabolic line at the top. Slow parts of the circuit, winding it up again, but he's improved in the second sector as well, as given evidence by the grease at the bottom of the screen. If he keeps this up and if uh, Grigwaff Saucy doesn't improve around the course of this lap, this surely should be good for Kai Collette to go up into second place, just where he needs to be. Keep the battle with his championship rival, Victor Martin. Amory Cordiel starting to wind things up as well. Cordial racing for FA Racing. My drive X Belgian race, the best result so far, a fifth this year. And in fact, a couple of weeks ago at Zambort, didn't get to start the second race, so uh, some sort of scores to settle here, and uh, qualifying at the top top ten will be a helping hand, but really top six would be what he's looking for. Fourth, well, very, very good indeed. So moves up a little bit close, in fact, very close indeed, just 75 thousandths down on Caio Collette. Kayo didn't improve last time around, still needs to find 55,000. Suddenly, Franco Colapinto, we saw him, car number 11, goes into second place. He's the one now closest to Victor Martin. That means Kayo Collette isn't third anymore, didn't get second, doesn't keep third. He's down in fourth place at the moment, but he's picking up the pace again. Needs to, the chequered flag is out on the start-finish line. This is the final shot and ran very, very deep into turn seven, eight. That combination up through camps, he goes, sweeps over the top of the hill no one in front of him to trouble him not close enough so let's see is he improving in this first sector yes he is very sector type he improves in the second sector but we're dealing in thousands of a second as you can see 
So his first sector improved. All he did, in fact, was uh, match to the thousandth of a second what he did through the first sector last time around. But this is his last shot to try and get onto the front row of the grid. It looks so Victor Martin has had his run. His target time, 1 minute 42.542 seconds. Last time through the chicane for Caio Collette. The chequered flag will greet the Brazilian. Will it greet him as a driver in fourth place on the grid or second? Let's see. He's improved. He's improved. Can he squeak a few more thousands? He goes into second place. He does what he needed to do. 0.219 of a second down of Victor Martin, but on the front row. Can Franco Colapinto, car number 11, can he spoil the fun? He was good in the first sector. I don't think he can. Middle sector was a bit weak. And then the final sector. Let's see. I think Colette has done just enough. But Colapinto is the driver who could, if he's tidy through the chicane, just topple him really infuriating for Colette if this happens he just needed to start on the front row alongside Victor Martin but the championship sweeps over the start finish line and stays in third position we have our front row it's Victor Martin from Caio Colette the two championship challengers will line up alongside each other on that front row of the Spanish fans unfortunately David Vidal has ended up 13th when he really would have been hoping to be running in probably the top three or four because he is running third in the championship but he's a uh, another chance to qualify that'll be for race two which is the race we will have tomorrow afternoon but right now we know the people who will be starting this afternoon's race from the front row victor martin from Caio colette so art grand prix from race gp mp motorsport keeping the team mixes three in the top three positions so a real case of sort of building up to speed in this session clearly the drivers struggling to get heat in their tires early on and so a little bit of caution Particularly, we saw Nicola Marin Angeli right at the start weaving around trying to get heat in his tyres for several laps. In the end, it didn't really work in his favour, but though he set the early flying lap, he ended up slowest of the field. Victor Martin, 0.219 of a second to the good from his championship rival, Caio Collette. Franco Colapinto, not too far behind in third, and Gregoire Sossi, again, within half a second of pole. Alex Quinn, right at the end for Arden, popped up into fifth place, just edging back Omri Cordille the battle of the Belgians. We do go to Wilder in seventh. Cars have a court into eighth position. New face for MP Motorsport, Adrian David and Timon van der Helm. Paul Aron just outside the top 10, but you can see the top 14 drivers within nine tenths of a second of a pole. All the way down to Nicola Marin Angela, who was the first one onto the track and sadly the one at the bottom of the timesheets at the end. But a good tidy qualifying session. But the real story right now is about getting heat into the tyres and it really, really was a struggle in those early laps. Drivers having to work like crazy to get some heat into their rubber on this coolish morning and then suddenly it became a little bit busy as the rest of the rivals came out onto the circuit. Laszlo Toff pushing very, very hard in the early stages of this qualifying session but like his Bitech teammate Marin Angeli, he ended up down towards the bottom end of the field. It was the kick big guns who came out later who started to make the moves including Victor Martin car 92 really really pressing on he's the championship leader and he showed he has what it takes he put in the fastest time and then the real story through to the end was whether his championship rival Kyle Connect could close in he was third he was fourth and then right at the end he slotted in a time good enough for the front row. So we have our two championship challengers, Victor Martin and Kaya Collette, lined up just where they want to be on the front row for the first of the two races.